tell me, what were you feeling when you were up there? Uh, your legs shake pretty good. Uh, I think the pipe one was pretty Leap hard. I don't know, that wire starts shaking. Come on, John, you can do it! Swings the way to work. Double swing, two people swing at the same time. Good morning. It is a beautiful morning in Knoxville, Tennessee. We got uh, Jose and Luis. Give a little hey. shout out. Give a little wave, Luis. Come on now. <laughs> we are getting ready. Oh no, the train. How unfortunate. Uh, train? Oh. We are about to get some Tennessee shirts. They are, not me. Yeah. They are. I and know. then we, uh, we're we going to go watch the UT football game today. So it should be pretty fun. Me and the crew in Walmart right now. About to get geared up. Yep. It's a pretty ugly color in my opinion. But. <laughs> All my boys here, they came up with their shirts. Jose, what you got? Got me a gray and orange shirt. Luis, third down for what? The balls. I got half the years. All right. did it. Luis asked me to do it. I got minioned up for the game. It's way too hot. This thing is so, so hot. You gotta say something, Luis. This guy likes bananas. Update, end of the first quarter. Score is seven to six. Tennessee leading. I got a visitor here, Mr. Matt Adamo. Seven to six, ah, that's ugly. But hey, Luis, you having fun? Hey, show that shirt off. Show that shirt off. Third down for one. Time for one more update. It is the end of the third quarter, and the unthinkable is happening. I don't even know their mascot, to be honest. It's ugly. Well, as you can see, my face is uh, nice and toasty. And uh, But what happened, boys? Tell us. We won. What was Go the Vols. It was 28 to 19. 28 to 19 when we yep. left. We tried to beat the traffic, but yep. everyone left about the same time. Yep. But it was a lot of fun. It Tennessee was... did win another mundane yeah. victory, but they, they did win. Yep. So, hey, until next time. Victory for us. <laughs> it is bright and early Sunday morning. I am heading to River Oaks Community Church where they're celebrating year number 15. Now what's interesting about that is, interestingly enough, I was there for the very first church service ever. And now I'm gonna be there for the 15 year anniversary. I got some uh, big time guests here today. Mr. Roland. Hello. And Miss Tabby, working cookie duty. All right, let me teach you guys a little something. All right, as an expert here in the, the art of cooking hot dogs. As a proud owner of a wiener dog, wieners are my life. Right here, if you look down here, go ahead, show them some of these hot dogs. <laughs> no worries. We're cooking somewhere in the neighborhood of 800 hot dogs today, all right, 800. And important is here, let's, let's zoom that sucker out. Like this. Oh, much better. All right. The important thing to remember when you're cooking hot dogs in bulk like this is, one, don't forget to roll. So right here, let's show my roll technique. Flat end of the spatula as we roll, as we roll. Wow. Look at this roll. Wow. Look at this. Listen, I've never seen rolling like that in my life. Hey, what's, what's, follow me over here. It's my second command station. All right, we're gonna do our roll technique. A lot of these are ready to go. We're about to clean this whole grill out because we are ready to start a new one. All right. Those are just a few basic tips. There's a lot more I could teach you. I don't have enough time right now, but all I'm saying is that if you ever need to cook 800 hot dogs, I'm your man. Okay, 
Um, I used to have a one-eyed hamster named Smokey. Second one is I am mostly Swedish. The third one is I fell asleep in an Al Jackson concert. And I so we got one guest saying hamster was not named Smokey. Uh, he, he sounds like it should be some sort of like pirate name or something. He's got one. But Captain Jack. I like that. Okay. What do you think it is, Josh? Um, that one-eyed hamster. One-eyed hamster. I think that the specificity of the other two, or the pacificity, sorry, of the other two, it's not a word. <laughs> they lead me to believe that the one-eyed hamster is a false statement, also known as a fib. And survey says, fib. Survey says it was a one-eyed gerbil. Oh. So Josh Shelley, I got an interesting uh, Snapchat earlier, series of them, a series of Snapchats that I received earlier this eve. And uh, it, it was something about name brand products versus off brand products and I'd like to hear a little bit more about that. Well, basically, I was just saying that there are some things that you can get away with by a store brand, and then there are some things that you cannot get away with by a store brand. For example, ketchup. Store brand ketchup is trash. You gotta go with Heinz, you gotta go with Heinz. But I don't know, Stephen, can you expound upon that? We're talking about name brand products versus off brand products. Um, well, like uh, I was discussing earlier today, I guess it was fried chicken. There are only a few things that you must get name brand, and that's sodas. Uh, don't get RC, don't get whatever value Kroger brand soda. Always Dr. Pepper. Never, never. Mr. Here we are. Scoop, we're about to have a handstand competition. We're one and one. <laughs> Scoop, stop. But, last time there's an asterisk because I just worked out at Vital Signs Wellness. As you can see right above me, Vital Signs Wellness. All right, so now we're gonna go round three, winner takes all. I don't even know why I got down here. You ready? You ready? This is cold turkey. So here we go, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Here. Here. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes! <laughs> Not only am I known for my handstands, but also I used to be a pinky toenail model when I was in college, so there you go, right there.